Hello, and welcome to the second show of the BSC Podcast here, where today we're going to be doing our real life segment, as we, as we prefer to do it. Pop that can of Coke. <laughs> you good? What's the topics for today, Sol? Alright, well today, I guess, first off, we might as well start off with our our outing that we just did today. Okay, at a local so restaurant for us. This restaurant is in Athens, Tennessee, if you want to ever go to it. Um, I don't really know where it's located. <laughs> it's located, well... Just just find it. It's called Monterey. It's the only one in Athens. Yeah. Um, the other one is currently being converted into a wine and spirits. Wine and spirits. As so, we don't have enough of those around here. Yeah, right? Like, we don't have enough wine and spirits around. Currently, it's been moving out a lot. Like, it's been coming in... Like a wine and spirits, I remember the first one was in Etowah. Yep, we got one in Etowah, and then we got one in Madisonville. I think it was, yeah, because it's up there on the hill. Yeah, next to Taco, the new Taco Bell. Yeah, which is really good. I've been there. It's good. So, so I'd like to ask you, what are some real life problems you have? Real life problems, like I have, everyday I have, problems that right. could be easily fixed, but it won't. Like it just, you can't. Hmm, that's that's actually kind of a tough question. I don't know. I guess one. Uh, if we're going to be related to this topic, I have a really bad problem with hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Could that be fixed? Uh, it could. I could build up a tolerance to it, I suppose. Okay. But... So today, um, we, did, remember... we did eat some hot sauce today. Yeah. And, oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I'm sorry. I didn't record it, but Soul's reaction was... Uh, we should have recorded that, regrettably. <laughs> <laughs> but my tongue straight burned. The waitress good. thought he was about to die. <laughs> yeah. I sat there in front of him with both hands like in a prayer position and I sat there just like munching away in front of his face just looking yeah, at him. Imagine like a, a balloon and you're blowing up a balloon. <laughs> that was my face. His face slowly got bigger. The immediate minute I started to realize, good lord, this is hot. Uh good times yeah that was good see i had like a one second yeah reaction. he didn't have as bad as mine but i honestly that was <laughs> to me that lasted a good five minutes and then burned <laughs> oh please don't kill the yourself. waitress yeah the waitress said to us please don't kill yourself on the hot sauce i said i'm all right i think now i have to ask <laughs> you because we're currently in your room today um yeah today we're recording out of my place yep um very crowded and you very have a Naruto polite. poster here who's your favorite character uh i yeah i don't know I watched it as a kid that much. I don't really know it anymore, but he, Naruto was always my favorite. Naruto is your favorite. All right, yeah. so the Believe It guy on my nerves. The Naruto's Believe It all the time. Believe that, It. As his classic catchphrase yeah, yeah, was. Yeah, true. I mean, it's on the poster. Yeah. <laughs> Believe It. I used to be a massive nerd for that, See, man. Yeah, like, I'm watching it now. I'm on episode 90. I watched all of Naruto. I loved it. And I'm on episode 90, like, 8 of Naruto Shippuden. Mm-hmm. The, second, se- the yeah. second season. Yeah, yeah, and, uh... No spoilers here, guys. I'm not going to do it. My favorite character is Yamato. Captain Yamato. Oh, yeah. The, that death. That the staring. wood guy. Yeah. yeah. The stare, he, he, like, see, I don't and... I don't know as much as him anymore because I stopped watching him. Well, altogether. you never see him, but like five times. I gave, like, I gave up watching the whole thing because I realized that that was a total waste of my time. I... Hey, I named my Xbox that today. <laughs> What? <laughs> Wasted waste time. time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. My mom kept complaining about the name of it, so. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I would, I would totally. Yeah, she would look on her Wi-Fi and you know see the name of my Xbox. She's like, "You need to change that." And I was like, "Okay." So I named it "Waste of Time." So now when she sees <laughs> her on her phone, she's like, "Oh, waste of time." Yeah, waste of time is borrowing my Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That um, could be terribly anywho, misinterpreted. As back well on the for topic. <laughs> back on the topic of real life problems that could be fixed. All right, um, what do you think, dude? I, every time I get up, I'm always dead. Like no matter how much sleep I get, I'm always dead. See, I don't, I can't do that. When I wake up, I wake up. That's me. Like I'm just dead. Sometimes, occasionally, I'll go back to sleep for about thirty minutes. What's it? See, I can't do that. I got work. <laughs> so when I wake up, I'm Please, dead. I, I just won five more minutes. <laughs> I have to take and uh, take a shower, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. But I mean, like, it's a habit of mine now since we've been in school that I always wake up, like, before my alarms go off. Oh, okay. Uh, Sorry about it, you know, just... Sorry, (laughs) this is also our first recording of the Real Life segment, so... Shout out to us. Yeah. (laughs) Newbies. 
Alright. If you're wondering what kind of microphone we're using today, um, I'm gonna go ahead and shout them out, because it's a great microphone. The Blue Snowball. I know what you're thinking. Blue Snowball. What a name. Well, I thought that too, but I actually grew to liking to the design. It actually looks like a snowball. It has the big word blue on the front of it. Doing this video, I might even put the, the picture of it on there, but you know. If you want to see it, um, I do have an unboxing video of it on my channel, Kilgore1029. So, yeah. Alright, so, a controversial topic I'd like to talk about, I guess, today with us, as our audience views, is how our technological properties are viewed today. As I'd like to point out, this was a recent occurrence with Apple and Microsoft, as they tried to hack Apple phones to find out personal information. Oh. What was that? <laughs> I think <your> house <laughs> I'm sorry. I that think was your a house in my is house. Had no idea what that was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, Anywho. But as we can go on here. So apparently, the federal court, it's like a, a thing with the federal court. Yeah. The Fourth Amendment does not protect your home computer. Which I would pretty much allow you that. I would allow it to this. They do not need a warrant to search your phone. As. They would need a warrant to search your house, which is your personal property. Now, I will point this out. A phone is very much so different, but yet it is exactly the same. As it How has, so? A phone also has your personal information, and it's all bundled up in one spot. In a house, you could also have your personal information in, like, a lockbox or something like that. Well, put... Okay. In, the, in everyone's defense that's going to be searched, I mean, um... Just think of an iPhone, like, what are you gonna have on there that's too personal, like, in my opinion, my phone is my phone, I don't really put anything on there that I, you know, hide. I don't even have something too terribly personal. I, I mean, really, yeah, like, like, there's nothing has, to hide. But it obviously, it obviously has your address, and sometimes people put their social security numbers uh, on there and stuff like this, It's a cop, though, like, they're not gonna just, like, oh, what's your social security number? Well, there's or? also a thing where they need to go through your phone for evidence. Nice job smashing your screen right there. Yeah. But, um... As I was saying, what we what it is is I feel is that if they're going to go through your phone, it's for personal. It, they need it for evidence as to check for check for for any connections to murders, drug charges, anything like that. But and, see, yeah, like if you've already been charged with it. Yes, but that's basically your phone evidence will be supporting evidence. I find I find this legit. I like this. I mean, I don't really care. I mean, don't hide anything on your phone. It's that simple. That you don't need, like, to show. I mean, like, yeah, but... There's, just get photo vault. If you have your social security on your phone for some odd reason, you know, set it in your wallet. <laughs> well... Um, put in, take and get a photo vault of some sort. Like, you can hide your photos in your phone, you know, and put also, a password I will point out. I will point out Apple's, like, privacy policies is another thing. True. That's why that was a big deal because they didn't want people hacking that phone because now the FBI knows how to hack every iPhone there ever was. That was a thing from the start though, like yeah, they can listen to your calls and stuff. Well, they didn't have it for an iPhone necessarily. An iPhone was totally unique to them. Okay, input code hack iPhone. <laughs> See, it's not <laughs> any, any coder knows how to. I mean, you got Lizard Squad hacking Xbox, and they, D, they can DDoS. hack your phone easily. Oh my God, they're DDoSing us. They're DDoSing us. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually. I, I got I, okay. I sold my PlayStation for that reason, though. They could not deal with all the DDoSing. And yeah, it was a pretty trash, but still. Um, there's actually a website you could look up that shows you every hack that's happening right now. I do not remember the URL for it. I had it too. Like, I looked that up. It was oh, pretty yeah? cool. I don't think that's legit. I think he's it just... It could like, be legit. I feel like I it's mean, a way of making money. Like, it's working too. Oh, yeah. I mean, heck, if I had that idea, I would have done it. I mean, it was... It's pretty cool to watch it. There's actually a really interesting thing that I... I looked up just because I was bored one day. Like, interesting things to do on the internet. Mm -hmm. You know, just because I'm... I was bored. Um, there's actually a website you can go to. I'll find it and put it in the description if you're looking for it. But uh, it's it's a robot like hand that you can control. Oh yeah. You get on there and you try to pick up the. It's like a claw machine basically. Oh, is it? But you're controlling. Are it, you, you making know. tea? Is yeah, that... I mean, I guess that's one. Of, I guess they they you know change it every so often. I don't know. I don't know. There was a game that I remember that was an, a rage game. Uh, no, this isn't a game. Like this okay. is real. Yeah. This is real. Like, it's a camera set up on the top of a robot hand, and you control it. And okay. 
You do things with it. All right. So, moving past that, what, what do we feel like is an appropriate second topic afterwards, man? I feel like we should get on the talk about PewDiePie. Um, about Pew- just recently, he posted a video. How long ago? About what? Because if you talk about it, I'd know it. Um, about him, he, he thought he was fresh. Like, he thought he was OG, like oh, yeah, original. That was, that was about a month or two About ago. a month ago, he thought he, he started going on a topic he, about... He keeps ranting on about, like... Oh, I'm the most original man there is on the YouTube. And uh, you know, it's, it's like I haven't seen this video yet. Like you were telling me about it, and it, you don't even have to watch that video. He's from, done a recent one. For yeah, it. from your perspective, it, it sounded like you made him. In a way, he's just trying to, you know, I'm the first one that did this. All of like you he, stink. He boasts himself. Yeah, like all of you stink. I'm here. Which, but, being granted, the man has. Could I think you he's reached 40, 40 million subscribers now? Forty million. This man mean? needs to, ooh, and he donates like $3 million to charity or something like that. Yeah, I think so. But, uh, I mean, could he be joking around? See, here's the thing that I see about it. A lot of other people play this, these games, They try but they their mainly best. watch him. Yeah, they, they try their best. They can't upload it because PewDiePie's taking them over. A lot of people will play that game and then... Shout out to Syndicate. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> But a lot of people will play that game, and then after they've done that, he will immediately, either about a week or a month afterwards, play that game, and people will watch him play it over the actual other guy that did that. You know, for a minute here, I would like to talk about another channel that I actually like a lot, and I'm sure you do. Okay, never mind, he has 46 million, I'd like to, I'd like to correct myself. 46, 46 million, million subscribers. subscribers. Why don't you just Google how much he makes right quick? Okay. Go ahead. And while I'm talking about this, okay. um, I'm sure you love them. I know I do. Brewster Teeth. They have their yeah. own podcast too, guys. So if you like in our podcast, go ahead. And go watch theirs. They go watch amazing, theirs too. Like don't they have forget amazing to like animated skits, and they're honestly hilarious. Like I yeah, but them. don't like please don't just leave us and you know in I the mean, dust. Support us and support them at the same time. Yeah, man. like this is. This Honestly, is what this, is this inspired us, like yeah, to do our podcast. To do our podcast, because they're just—it's funny. They're people talking about like things that are happening and things that are like going on, and they're just being buddy buddy. While now, eventually, support. I am going to set up like a little thing in my house. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have a green screen behind us, and we and can we do that record whole, a live podcast. Yeah, we can have guys. like a background for it. Of course, so. we'll be a little bit better shaved. <laughs> I got I like, a mustache right, that he wants out, me to shave. All right, we'll pay the description for you, I guess, for a little bit. I absolutely have a beard right now. Dude, like, like he has the most magnificent beard. <laughs> yeah, I'm very Amish, as people would call it. And then he has a, I have a, he has a goatee. A goatee. A very strong mustache. But, uh, like, what are you going for there? <laughs> but, I don't uh, know. Okay, I found the numbers, and apparently last year, PewDiePie earned $12 million by creating content. Or YouTube. Okay, let's just get this in. That is more than the Powerball. That that was more than the Powerball. Twelve. The Powerball a little while ago was about. A, it got close to a billion. Oh wait, never mind. Wrong Powerball. I'm talking about the Powerball, like the smaller one. Oh. Like I forget what it's called. Is it more of the? Is it? It's still. It's a, it's the same thing, but it's smaller. Yeah, I know. I think I know what you're talking about. I forget what it's called. But anyway, Powerball is at 330 million right yeah, now. Yeah. In Tennessee. It's pretty big. I'm pretty sure that goes across the nation, but I don't know. You can no, no, ch- that, one's, check that one's Tennessee, specifically. Okay. That, that's Tennessee's Powerball. That's the Tennessee Lottery, then. I think is what you're thinking of. Oh. Yeah, I think the Powerball goes across the nation. Okay, well, that's another real-life topic. There. Someone who won the Powerball last year literally got, like, $800 million. Yeah, but when you think about that, they, and they reduce the taxes still, like, but it's still a lot of money. No, 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 no. It was at $990 million. The cash value of that was five hundred and fifty million. It said it like you know has the thing on there. So they got five hundred and fifty million dollars. Call that set for life. What are you going to do with five hundred and fifty million dollars? That's more than Trump has. Well, no, I'm, I doubt that's, that. That's, that's too long. Yeah, I, mean, I doubt that. Insane. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's talk about Donald Trump for a minute. Like, right. I, I really want to talk you about. Talk about Trump? Just because you mentioned politics earlier. All right. Fine. If you want, if you want to go ahead with Trump, go ahead and make your opening statement here. Trump needs to be president. Did you honestly 
Just say that. Yes. I can't. <laughs> look, he's a great politician. He said, he, okay, he may did not. Did you say he was a great look, politician? Look, yes. Or did, no, you just said Garrett. You just said Garrett. <laughs> 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 what was that? I don't know. That's my, oh, man. No. Okay. Say it right, please. And, okay, look, 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 look. All right. Anywho, he may not have the best ideas. He may not, you know. We're okay, going who to would you rather wall. be president, Hillary Clinton or Trump? To be honest, I couldn't sit for either of them. But. No, you have to choose one. It's America. <laughs> <laughs> I I honestly don't want Hillary nor Trump. Trump. But I hate Trump so much. Right? But put it that he's a true American, though. Like really, in a way. He's kind of yeah. I guess you. Could I say mean, that, not. I mean, he he ticks off a lot of people. Don't get me wrong, but. There's a guy who about beat him up during one of those sessions. I think that's about all we have time for today. Well, what? You don't want to break off into one more topic? We had one more idea. That what we topic to is about. this? We wanted to talk about the digital hookup age. Digital hookup age. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Digital hookup age. Sorry if you heard that knocking. The mic is on. Yeah, the we're on a table right now. So. <laughs> a very wobbly table. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Wombo, baby. <laughs> Alright, but... Uh, no, I'm joking. Um, go ahead. Have Flickr, Tinder... Zeusk, eHarmony. You, you see... Christian Mingle, I remember Christian, that one. FarmersOnly.com. That one. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, we got all these websites, you and know, for dating. pretty much, it's really <laughs> just a glorified... What's the point? It's a glorified friend, like, friend hooks Put it this way. If you're going to use an app, why not just go out and talk to someone? <laughs> <laughs> you know, for real. I feel like we're getting to a point in our his in like our age where people just don't want to go out and talk to like other people. I mean, it, people would mean anymore out in the world. You know, you go out yeah. and say hi, and they won't wave at you. It, I mean, it's kind of getting typical. It's really just kind of moving towards that's the per norm that really s- sets in on us. All right, and if you want to. Give us a little tune to play us out, so... Uh, I can't really play much. You can't? So, no. I'll play. Alright, do you want to play? It? I'll play. Okay. If you can carry that thing. Okay. It's pretty big, actually. <laughs> it's been like <laughs> two years since I've had a guitar in my hand. Do you need a pick? Sure. <laughs> if I can get one. Well, we'll just leave it at this, then. Until next time. We'll see you on a BNC podcast in the future.